Welcome my dear friends. In this video we are going to show you the best and easy ways to remove unwanted objects from a photo. As always, all methods that we show are absolutely free, no watermarks, and most importantly they work. Without further ado let's get started. Method 1. Online Photo Editors. These days, powerful photo editing engines are available online, interestingly they work pretty well. Please go ahead and search Google. Most of these websites work pretty much same. If one did not work for your case, please try the next. You can also check out the list of working websites at the end of video description below. I personally like cleanup.pictures, let's use the same for this demo. Please click here. Navigate and open the image that you want to edit. Down below over here, you have two main modes, one is eraser, and another is zoom. You can use your mouse to toggle between these two modes. Alternatively, you can also press and hold spacebar for zoom mode. And release the spacebar to get back to eraser mode. While you are in zoom mode with the help of your mouse, you can also move your entire picture left or right, and up or down. Let's get into zoom mode, zoom in or zoom out as needed and focus on the object that needs to be removed. Now get into eraser mode. Please go ahead and fully shade the object that we need to remove. Once shading is completely done, just release the mouse to start the image processing. Very easy, isn't it? Let me try to remove another object. Remember, we need to shade the whole object at a stretch. If you release your mouse in the middle of the selection, then the results will be undesirable. On the other hand, if you want to select the object in multiple steps, then please tap on space bar once, then release the mouse. Anytime you release the mouse without tapping the space bar, it will be considered as selection finalized and the processing will start. This method works well for some of the more complex images as well. Once all done, please download the output file from here. It works perfect for me. I hope it works for you as well. Method 2. Advanced Photo Editing Using GIMP GIMP is an open source application and the best free alternative to expensive Photoshop. I have provided the download link in the description, please download and install the same in your PC. Once installed please launch GIMP. Please open the picture that you want to edit. Let's try to remove this guy from this picture. Now, just think what comes at the place if this guy is not there. And see if something similar pixels are available elsewhere in the image. Let me make it a little simpler for you. If I need to remove this guy, roughly the pixels in the left side green box, the sky area, should come in the place of right side green box. The pixels in the left side red box, the rock area, should come in the place of right side red box. And same with blue box, the C area as well. Let's go ahead and use GIMP's clone tool to copy the pixels from one place and clone it to another place. Right click on the clone icon and select clone tool. Please press and hold control key and with your mouse select the clone source center point. Now please go to target area. Press and hold the mouse key and erase the object. As you can see, this clones the pixels from the area where you initially set up clone source center point. Please do not try to do more at a stretch. Do it in small portions so that if anything goes wrong, you can undo easily. Between any time if you want to reset the clone source area, please use control key and reset the clone source center point. 
Initially it may be confusing, but once you've got it right it is very easy. Let me make it simpler for you. After selecting Clone Source Center Point, just see what is inside this circle. In my case I have half sky area and half rock area. Now go to target area and start at the point where you want half sky and half rock. Not here. Not here either. I want it exactly over here. Continue holding the mouse. If you move it right, whatever is there at the right of the originally selected source will be cloned. If you move it left, whatever is there at the left of the originally selected source will be cloned. Same is true for up and down movement as well. Every time you release your mouse and restart cloning, you should start at the place where you want pixels in the clone source center point. The more time and effort you put, the better results you get. Once all done, please go to File. Choose Export As. Change the file name as you wish. Select the file type based on your need. Please click on Export. It works perfect for me. I hope it works for you as well. If you have any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.